This message is not going to start with the usual greeting of peace in Arabic that I tend to give because this message is one of war. I don't usually talk about uh, war in the context of myself, but we are a people with whom our oppressors are at war. They're not just oppressing us, but they are at war. That's why a black man can steal $50 in Alabama during a robbery and serve 36 years and a white person can embezzle tens of thousands and serve a few months in county jail. That's the reason why. It's war, and unfortunately, I'm, becoming, I'm coming to realize that our uh, men have a war being waged on us by certain women. There are women in our community that are waging war on us. It's not funny, uh, it's not just a disagreement, it's becoming a, a propaganda war. Cynthia G is one of them. Cynthia G. either repeated bad information or she lied. She mentioned three court cases that preceded Loving versus Virginia in which black men uh, were only petitioning for the right to be with women from the dominant society. Guess what actually happened? Two of these cases were cases in which, uh, in which black men, only one being an African American, were in fact with white women and they, were, they only fought this in court after they got in trouble for it because people were called on them. They didn't petition anything. They got in trouble first because they were with these women. That's the first thing. Would I have been with them? No. But only one of them was African American. That was Pace versus Alabama. That man was with a white woman. That was it. And he was sentenced to prison and so was she. And so they were fighting uh, the conviction. And that's why it went to the Supreme Court. And it was up, the, the conviction and, and sentences were upheld. So they were really trying to get out of jail in other words. He wasn't trying to make a legal issue out of it and seek a court ruling until it became necessary. In uh, Florida, McLaughlin versus Florida, he was a black Honduran man. And uh, she was a white woman. And again, they didn't do anything legally until authorities were called on their son all the time by a prejudiced landlord because they were unmarried, but they had this kid together. And so the, the kid was being uh, uh, subjected to police harassment by a prejudiced landlord. Other than that, they would have never taken anything to court. They were taken to court first. And he wasn't even African-American. Secondly, I'm sorry, thirdly, Perez versus Sharp was a case in which a black man in California tried to marry a Mexican woman. She legally had to put white at the time in California. She was required to put that down as her race. Therefore, she couldn't get the uh, marriage license for him. And so then they fought, but she wasn't white to begin with. Cynthia G did not point these out. She said that each and every civil rights leader was with a woman from the dominant society. That's also not true. That's not it, that wasn't the case. That's not true, she lied. Each and every civil rights leader was not with one. There may have been some that were, there are gonna be some we don't know about, but each and every, she sang with no exception, living and dead. Now, if you can just confirm any of this, the ones you can confirm, you're gonna find on one hand. Just the ones you can confirm. Matter of fact, the rumors, you're probably only gonna need one hand and a few fingers just to, to count the rumors. Now the ones you can confirm, you're down to one hand again. But she didn't say that. She again is simply sticking to a narrative she cannot back up, that black men are so disloyal to black women and that black men uh, will, will only fight legal battles for the right to be with women from the dominant society, which means white Anglo-Saxon Protestant women. In actuality, black men are more likely to be involved I apologize. When it comes to marriages, black men are equally likely to marry a woman, uh, another woman of color as they are to marry a white woman. That's in marriages. In dating, we actually know that brothers are more likely to be with a Hispanic woman than they are to be with a white woman. In dating. We know this. The exceptions are the areas where you don't find many black women to begin with and, and other women of color. This is understood. This is known. People realize this. You see this every day. The stats may not prove it for dating like they do for marriage, but we know brothers are more likely to, to be with the Latina. We get that. 
So she wants to make it seem like all we do is sit around and lust after Becky and we'll do anything for Becky. When the fact is, for the most part, we know that Becky's a damn problem. We get it. Becky only wins out by comparison when the only other option is a sister that hates you more than Becky seems to hate you. A sister with the attitude and Becky trying to flirt with you. That's it. She doesn't, want to, to, she doesn't want to come to grips with this. And the reason she doesn't want to come to grips with this is because then she has to understand that it actually is very difficult being a man, period, in the West, let alone being a black man, trying to deal with Sapphire, trying to impress Sapphire, and keep Sapphire with you by your side. She knows that because hell, and let me tell you how she knows this. Cynthia G has had to face the dichotomy, do you get the brother's physicality that you want or do you get the white man's money? You ain't getting both. That ain't happening. And she's mad because she has to make that tough choice. A lot of sisters are. They want the black man physically, they want the white man financially. How do you combine them two? That's going to take physical force. You have to force white men out of their wealth. That's what it's going to take. They want to blame us because we haven't done this. It's not like we never tried, but they want to blame us because we didn't succeed. So black man, what you're dealing with is a woman like her that's sitting up egging you on saying, you ain't man enough, you ain't nothing but a bitch ass nigga cause he's dominating you with his guns. Don't worry about his guns, ignore his guns. Them guns ain't nothing, they just bullets. Get out there and kill him. If you a real man, kill him and take his money and bring it home to me so I can have what Miss Ann has. I can boss Miss Ann around and make her clean my tub. And while that's okay morally speaking, yeah, morally, that's fine. What she fails to understand is that right now that's impossible as far as we know. Maybe there's a way to do it, but ain't nobody discovered it yet. She doesn't want to live in reality. So she wants to blame you instead of even blaming Mr. Charlie for what he's done. That's the end of it. That's all it is. She would rather see you get out there and die. She would rather see you get out there and get yourself killed to try to bring home to her what Miss Ann has or what she thinks Miss Ann has, than to see you alive finding a way out of the situation through passports. And again, the worst part is you got these gynocrat goons and matriarch ma'am dingoes willing to back her up. Gentlemen, understand that she is not important by herself, but she is a litmus test. This is what you do. Find out who her subscribers are and every single woman that subscribes to her and listens to her as though she is normal, takes her seriously, listens to her for any reasons other than simply uh, humor. You take that woman and you write off as someone that you cannot take seriously. And if you find out that one of the women in your life is listening to her, you cut that, you cut her off. If it's your cousin, if it's your sister, if it's your mother, you may not have to cut them off completely, but if it's your cousin, your sister, or your mother, what you probably will have to do is you're probably gonna to have to say, okay, you know what, we're done. This is over. I mean, yeah, you and I are related, but I'm not bringing you no money. I'm not coming to help you out in, late at night, in the middle of the night, I ain't doing nothing like that. You, know, you get a flat tire at night, you call one of them uh, ma'am dingo ass niggas. That's what you do. You call up Robert Raw Dog Perkins if you, uh, you run out of money and you need some. Because you know they got swag. They got tattoos. They got dreads and golds. So they sexy, so you call one of them niggas. You don't come to me for nothing. That's what you gotta tell them. These, that's when they're related to you. If my daughter starts listening to Cynthia G, this is how I'm gonna have to treat her. All right, baby, look. I'm your dad, you know, and I love you. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give you the tough love that you need right now. You listening to her and you can't afford to take her seriously. Either you show me evidence that she's not who I remember her being anymore or you can't come to me for nothing. You gotta find one of these ma'am dingo ass niggas. You gotta find one of them Robert Raw Dog Perkins ass niggas to come out there and save you. Cause they got swag and they got dreads and they got tats and they got golds and they sexy. You gotta call one of, you can just, that's who it is gonna have to go to. Cause I already know, if you listen to her, you definitely are not going to be trying to marry, let alone rely on and lean on one of these other, now you may try to rely on and lean on one of these guys you don't think are sexy, but you ain't gonna bring their babies home to me. They're not the ones to whom I'm gonna become a grandparent. I already know that. So, 
that's who you're listening to, something's wrong with you. I'm not helping you. This is what's gotta be done. Because even when I gave her credit for not making up the cases, I was right, she didn't make up the cases. She just gave me the wrong conclusion about what it was all about. Again, black men have not sold out black women in mass. That has not happened. We've been brainwashed to do it and we've largely been successful at not doing it. Can we say the same in reverse? It's pretty much split down the middle. She's obviously on the side that we can't give credit for being loyal like we've been. I hope that this has been a benefit. Black horse sign and blackout.